Hey everyone, Scriptworthy here. Uh, it is time for the long-awaited uh, book review that I've been talking about since forever. Um, reason why it's all on my iPhone is because my editing software that I have won't download onto my computer. And uh, the last video was shot um, with Windows Movie Maker, and that's really, really freaking slow, so I decided not to use that. So this is probably go gonna be like uh, the way that all my videos will be shot for a while now. Um, so let's get right into this book review. Um, it's Reincarnation by Susan Wayne. And the back of the book says, It starts in prehistory. A young man and a young woman fight over a precious jewel. Their time together is short, but the reverberations are lasting. Years pass, generations pass, centuries pass, but fate, fate keeps drawing them together. Whether or Whenever their paths cross, there's that strange attraction, that unexplainable affinity, that feeling that they've been together before. Their love is a haunted. Their love is haunted by history, from Egyptian slavery to Greek society, from Massachusetts witch trials to Civil War battlefields, from the par from Paris in the 1930s to the present day. Circumstances will fight them, but a greater force will reunite them, because some people are meant for each other, no matter how long it takes. This book is not something, I'm just going to sit down here, um, this book is not something I would normally read. My, uh, cousin actually got me into it, um, she told me it was a really good book, and I believe her and trust her judgment. Um, I have a list of things that I was wanting to go over, um, just things that stood out for me, and following, like, the few things that I said I was going to base my review on um content the story itself is r unique in a way that it is it's like a series of short stories um each short story being uh when the person gets reincarnated i thought that was pretty interesting i i hadn't really seen that done before that being said there were some stories that I just wasn't interested at all in. Um, the first story being the one that uh, took me the longest to get into because it was about cavemen. Don't really care that much about cavemen. <laughs> um, uh, the same could be said about the Egyptian. I didn't really care for that either. Um, there was like there were there were certain time periods that I thought were really cool like they had it in the 1930s with like the war and all that I thought that was really cool I really like that time period um you know that it could have been longer like they could have added a whole lot more time periods if they wanted to um but altogether I thought it was really cool um just you know if there's certain time periods that you're just not interested in you're not going to really care about uh, the story that they're trying to tell during that chapter. Uh, character development. Uh, it was okay. I mean, you had four ma you had four reoccurring characters. Um, the first one being the main character, Boy. And the way that you could, like, they don't all, ha like, none of them have, like, set in stone names. Their names change throughout history. And the reason behind that I guess because when you get reincarnated, you aren't reincarnated with the same name. So, like, the boy, he ends up getting, like, a whole bunch of headaches, and you know that that's him. You have the main character, girl, who has a weak, weak ankle all the time. And that's how you know that's her. You have, you have uh, a supporting male character who depending on the story, is either the antagonist of the two main characters or he's like a supporting character of them. And his telling sign is uh, he has a sore jaw. And then you have the supporting girl character who is the same exact, like the way that she's portrayed is depending on their relationship to the other two characters. Um... And her telling sign, I believe, was she had red hair. That was it. Like, she had red hair. 
And she, I think she had green eyes, too. Like, she had reddish hair and green eyes. Um, I think that the two main characters, they stayed the same throughout the whole book. For me, they stayed the same. Um, they had kind of the same personality whenever they got re reincarnated. It was the other two, the two supporting characters, I felt more inclined to read more about because, depending on the story, like... Like, in the beginning, the supporting character, the supporting male character, he was the antagonist. Like, he was the rival throughout many of the stories. But, like, there was a, there's times when he's, like, a friend of the male character. He is a brother to the male character. And it was just one of those, oh my gosh, kind of moments. Like, I want to read more about these characters. And the same can be said about the supporting female character. Um, the originality. The premise of reincarnation is very interesting because I've never seen, I never read a book that did reincarnation right. Like, um, the one thing that I found was really interesting is, uh, depending on the culture that they lived in was how they died. So like, if they died in ancient Egypt or whatever, they saw the, the Egyptian gods. Um, when they died in the Greek in the Greek time era, you know, they traveled on the River Sphinx and they got to meet the ferryman and I thought that was really cool. Like, I thought how, I liked how they incorporated all the different religions in with the reincarnations as well. I thought that was really cool. Um, my actual interest, this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be like the last one. Um, my actual interest is, I wasn't that interested near the middle near the middle I just kept on reading it and then like right at the end um it teetered on my interest um there was one point where I was so frustrated with the book I was like gah I had to put the book down I'm like no like why are they doing this to this book and uh it's like right at the end that I just started it, it's it's during the present day like the I only had a problem really with the story that took place at the end during present day like there were things that were happening that were like uh, this is so cliche, this is so, like, I knew this was going to happen, and it it was kind of like, I thought it was a bad decision to make the reincarnation of teenagers, because they were teenagers, like, about to graduate high school, and I'm like, I wish they could have made them a little bit older. Um, and I made a little note on the thing, because I said that in the in my other video that I was going to add, I was going to add if I think it would make a good adaption. Given that this takes place in different time periods and that their appearance changes constantly throughout each um, reincarnation, I do not think this would make a good adaption of any kind. Even, like, maybe a short mini-series of TV on a TV show or something. That's the only way that you could pull it off. Because you would have to use different actors for everything. You would have to use different time eras, different settings, different everything for every single time era. And so that is the problem that you would have to face if you make an, made an adaption to it. Altogether, I kind of recommend this to anyone who likes the love story thing. Who likes the love story genre and... You know, for me, it's like a leisure read. I don't see it as going up on my read through again list anytime soon um I think yeah that's it um next book that I'm reviewing is The Ghost and the Goth by Stacy Cade um as you see I don't have the book cover to it uh, it's over at my friend's house but I actually did finish it and I'm going to upload a video to it soon after sure. this one uploads